All righty, what is going on, ladies and gents? Welcome back to the channel for another market update. Hope everybody's having a lovely day. And with that being said, into the TA. All right, guys, I just want to point out we got some stuff going on here on the smaller time frames that I think is going to be beneficial, which is why we're going to be starting here on the 15-minute time frame. First things first, you got this nice little bull pennant that started forming off of yesterday's gap up. And now, I want to say you have broken up You've back-tested, and it does look like you're going to be off of the races. Now, what do you also have? You have this inverse head and shoulders formation going on right here. All right, so that is also something to be said. All right. All in all, what I'm pointing out is that this pullback happened in a very bullish manner, in my personal opinion. And I would not be surprised to see us break to the upside out of uh, through this resistance right here. And once you are past there, you're probably going to take out the tie. All right, I did mention in yesterday's video that I don't think we should be bearish on this market until it gives us a reason to be bearish. And as of right now, I don't think we have that reason. Um, but, you know, even if you don't continue higher here, I just want to point out if you come back, you're just going to be testing the previous all time high. And for the time being, guys, this is going to be a demand zone until price can really get underneath here, which is going to be, you know, like coming all the way down through 477. I'm going to have to assume that buyers are just going to be stepping up here until they prove that they're not. All right. It's bullish until it's not. And if you can lose that, that is when we're going to be watching down here at the golden pocket right there at the 0.786 fit. All right. I'm just saying, all right, if you can then do that, that is when I will be bearish on this market until then I'm not going to be bearish on this market. I will point out, we do have these bearish diversions still taking place. But guys, these can be burned, and these don't tell us when the move down is going to happen. These just tell us that one is brewing. And I do think eventually we are going to have a decent swing down, and we're going to be coming all the way down here to 460. But until that becomes the case, you know, guys, we got to be bullish in this market. We really do. See here on the weekly time frame. Guys, does this look bearish? You've had one leg. you had your consolidation. Call this your, your B wave. And then you're about to have your C wave or call this a one, a two, a three, and a four and a five. Either way, all right, we're bullish right here. I don't see a reason to be bearish on this weekly chart. You come back here, take that away. You know, guys, this, this looks picture perfect in my personal opinion. It does not look bad at all. Come over here to QQ. Does this look bad to you? Nope. Pull back to this nine weekly moving average. Boom, bop, bing, boop, pow. All right, you're just continuing on your way. You do have this bearish divergence taking place. All right. You actually have a large one stemming from all the way back over here. But guys, that happened over here and you continued higher a decent amount over here. And then you chopped around for a few weeks before you actually fell. So, you know, if you're taking big bearish bets, you know, chances are, chances are you just get chopped around. So, yeah, you know, short term trading for the win, in my personal opinion, while we are dancing around up here. Now, we are going to be talking about some setups here that I think uh, deserve our attention. All right, uh, before we do that, I just want to point out, same thing on SPY, uh, you know, same thing on QQQ that we are just looking at SPY. Guys, if you pull back, you're just going to be pulling back in between this high and the previous all-time high. We're going we're gonna to say buyers are very, uh, you know, they have a strong likelihood of pulling up right here. And guess that. Guess what? That would also be the bottom of this channel, and that would look pretty as well. There you go. All right, IWM still doesn't look too bad to me. You had this cup uh, breakout, and then you had this, well, the cup and handle breakout. You had this cup form, and then you formed the handle, broke out, and now you're kind of back in it. But I'm just going to say, as long as you can uh, recover the zone right here, if you get above, we'll call it 197, you have a pretty straight shot to 200 bucks. And that is where you originally broke down with this head and shoulders formation. All right, and that's what I was pointing out on the smaller time frames over there on SPY and 15 minute time frame. We had the, you know, we have something to be bullish about. The smaller time frames is looking bullish. What gets does this look? Does this look bad to you? Like even if you break down, you're just gonna be back testing where you broke out from. You're probably gonna get buyers stepping in there. All right, something I will point out is DXY. I'm gonna take off this nine EMA. There you go. I want to point out, guys, DXY is making its way up to this zone up here. That is where I'm looking forward to stall out for a little bit. But uh, DXY is currently up. SPY is up. One of them is lying. Um, I told you guys this yesterday as well. I guess it's, they're going to keep playing games with us. We're going to have to see about that one. Maybe DXY is going to get all the way up here. And, you know, SPY is not even going to pull back. We're going to have to see about it. VIX over here. Another day, another crushed VIX. 
guys next support is going to be all the way down here at 1235 that's what we're paying attention to all right now we're talking about these individual tickers all right i created a cayenne list for us get into it the first one i'm going to be putting on your radar is going to be rivian now why are we putting rivian on your radar well guys it is dancing around right here at the 0.786 fib which is the bottom of the golden pocket you know buyers are going to step in this is kind of a perfect spot for them to step in but the picture can really be seen on the weekly time frame all right guys so you have this zone up here but we don't care about that we care about the original breakout okay the original breakout zone is right here you could it can be seen on the weekly time frame and uh yeah literally if you take the low there to the high over there this is literally just still a retracement here and you honestly you know until you start breaking under here I'm going to have to say you're probably going to get buyers stepping in here and we're going to start seeing some higher prices. All right, the daily RSI is also oversold. So, you know, last time it was oversold, you got this bounce over here. You start putting a bullish divergence. All right, and then uh, you got this guy over here. You started getting your decent bounce, 1250 up to 1580. And then you got this going on over here. Uh, I, I also failed to mention this, $12 all the way up to just about 16 bucks. All right, so Rivian, number one. Second one we're talking about, we're just going to talk about China as a whole, BABA. All right, this is one we pointed out. Um, literally, when it was breaking down over here, we said, well, it was hovering up here. We said, even if it breaks down, it's just going to put in this bullish divergence. Well, guys, it now has put in that bullish divergence, and you see fireworks, all right? So why is BABA up so much? Because... Uh, you know, the guy bought back like 50 mil or, you know, 50 mil, 100 mil, something mil of his stock. All right. Um, and I guess that might be this volume spike right over here. But yeah, that's why we're now going to be watching some China. But everyone's favorite over here, Mr. Neo, we're still not going to be talking about because Neo does not look good. I'm like Baba. Baba looks great. Look at that. So we're going to talk about that. Let's actually take a look at JD. Is JD coming back from the dead? Yes, you are. All right, and now moving on to Upstart. Guys, Upstart held on right where I need to hold. All right, break and retest. Looking picture perfect. Didn't even come come down here, but even if you did, you would just be testing this trend line as well as the bottom of the golden pocket there as well as your breakout zone right here. So it still wouldn't have been looking bad. Guys, I'm not bearish. I, I'm really not bearish right now in the current market. I think things are setting up, but... You know, if we start to see things that are telling us to be bearish, then obviously we're not going to be paying attention to these log setups. We're just not going to be doing them. SoFi, perfect bounce. All right, absolute perfect bounce. I think this does continue higher. Um, you know, right here off the trend line, you had the volume spike on this big gap up over here. And now, guys, as long as you fill this gap over here, you will be putting in a, or as long as, you know, you hold somewhere over here, be putting in a higher low and then you could come back up take out the high then we have a daily uptrend to play speaking of daily uptrends palantir all right guys you flip the switch when did you flip the switch well you have this low you have this high you have a higher low which was just a back test of where you broke out from and then you broke out to a higher high so as of right now guys we have to be bullish on this pullback i think you're probably going to get buyers stepping up here but uh we do have that daily uptrend to be playing and um yeah bullish until it isn't right now i think palantir is it's queuing up guys it is queuing up i understand this weekly candlestick right here doesn't look the best but i think things can uh, turn around in a big way over here regardless buyers were stepping over over on palantir let them cool off let them cool back up or let them heat back up i should say ai you come over here you have this beautiful cup and handle forming right here all right you have a little one forming and then if you come all the way up there you'll have a big guy uh, but as of right now, you get this little cup and handle, guys, if you start breaking above. If you get up here, guys, you're going to go for a ride, all right? I, I think you're probably going to go for a ride. But as of right now, what is drawing my attention to it? Trend line, all right? You are literally testing right now your downtrend. And that is something that I just want to put it out there, all right? If you could break above, you probably will see buyers take you all the way up here to 2850. And then we probably consolidate, probably do something like this. And there's your handle and then you have all right giant cup giant handle maybe in the form of a flag and then boom i very much like it there you go all right coin not something i am bullish on right now but you know it's not too bad of a spot to take a little nibble here so i'm putting it on your radar coin i'm just saying i think buyer stepped up too early over here you didn't even come back and you know back that's your breakout level which is 
keep it on the radar. FDX, this is what I'm paying attention to. Today you're getting your, uh, well, you're not getting a back test, but uh, you got your little pullback here, and I'm just putting it out there. If you can recover this level here, probably do go for a little ride. But what will that be doing, guys? It will be breaking above the previous high. So you have a high. Well, let's just look at it this way. All right, you broke down. That's your lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. Guys, the tides have changed. Well, they're beginning to change. If you can break above here and then pull back. We are very bullish on that pullback, and that's why I have this arrow here. You know, solid chance you just hit it with a break and retest, and we have something very solid to risk here. Oxy. Oxy is something that maybe isn't, you know, looking too hot right now, but I did point this one out. You're at support. We pointed out over here, and now we're pointing it out again, and now you've broken out from this descending uh, channel we got going on here. So I just want to put it on your radar there. Oil could be heating up. Let's see how the actual thing is looking. Well, look at that. We have another downtrend break right there. Can we make it a channel? We can. We do have this parallel channel going on here. And you have broken out to the upside. If you could start breaking above here, we'll call it 76 bucks. Guess what? Oil could be going for a ride. Let's actually just take a look at Zom. Do we see anything over on Zom? Oh, what do we have going on over here? Bullish divergence. You actually have a triple bullish divergence. Guys, momentum is shifting. Keep it on the watch. Keep it on the watch. Eh? Keep it on the watch. C-E-L-H. This is one that we were watching over here. We were playing. We got a chance to play it there. We got the chance to play the second breakout. We just kept getting these break and retests as well. It was absolutely glorious. It's kind of like SMCI, except I did not get the, you know, I didn't successfully play SMCI over here. All right. But, you know, look at this. And we're still waiting on this. It, it's a a work in progress over there but celh guys you're getting buyers stepping up exactly where they need to be stepping up and um yeah i like this setup all right you have literally a break and retest going on here you can use the bottom of today's candlestick as your risk level i like it i want to see you know it's like i want to see how this thing closes out because if you can't close out with a hammer guys you have extremely low volume so we do know volume is fizzling you had a, you know a lot of sellers over here volume's fizzling out and uh yeah the hammer would give you something to go off of you now can clear clear as they see buyers are stepping in you would you know you would want you know heavy volume on it but i do like that you had this massive volume spike and now it's fizzling out as you make lower lows okay and there you go all right last one i'm going to talk about is tesla as tesla today has broken out of this descending channel so that is that all right uh, I'm not saying buyers are stepping in yet, but I am saying right now, if they are going to really step in, like really step in, it's going to be right here. And you do have a potential higher low being put in right here, right at that, uh, you know, top trend line right there for the channel. You could break above, guys. We will have a change in structure, and that is what we're watching, all right? But regardless, you know, I'm just going to call the bluff here. I, I do think, you know, you're going to be seeing a pretty big move out of Tesla here over the coming weeks and i don't think it's going to be in the downward direction i'm just going to call tesla's bluff here all right you're right there you broke out from from all you know this big old flag all right all those you know months ago many months ago almost a year not a year but you know half a year now so i'm just putting it out there you just broke out of the channel you at the 0.786 fib the buyers are going to step in they're going to step in right here i think it's worth a shot so you know i took a nibble there well, I took a I took a lotto there. It's a gamble. All right. But I'm just saying, guys, it's uh, you know, a few weeks out. I'm just putting it out there. This is exactly where you would want to be buying Tesla. You didn't want to do it up there. You didn't want to do it up here. All right. We did, but you didn't want to do it up there. But guess what? Right here, this if it's gonna be a retracement, it's stopping right here. And the daily RSI is in the same exact spot as all of you know over here. Now we can't see this landslide here. We could see it, all right? We got no reason to be looking for that right now. You're holding where you got to hold. So I, I want buyers to step in, all right? I want them to do it right here. And, you know, if they don't, they don't. But I'm just saying, you know, Tesla is known to have some monster moves, and this is something that, you know, I like right here. But I also like the look of this guy right here. So there's that. And I like the look of this guy right here. And uh, what do I also like? I like the look of the, that guy right there. And Rivian, I like over 1701. I think that was the level that I was watching. Let me just change my uh, my layout over here. All right, let me come over there. Let me look at a little Rivian right there. 
Uh, there we go. All right, 1701. That is what we're paying attention to. Why? If you can do it, guys, you can, uh, you can have some bullish stuff going on here. I'm just putting it out there. So you're in the zone from all those, you know, times ago. All the way back there. The original breakout. And you're at the 0.786 Fib. You now have a potential inverse head and shoulders formation going on here. Regardless, you got bullish things going on here on the stock. If you could do this, if we could just dance around here, chances are you get pretty tight and then you go boom. All right. So that's what I'm really watching for. All right. With that being said, I'll catch you all in the next one. Everybody have a lovely rest of your day and peace.